Hello there guys and welcome back to a brand new update video with myself Furum. Now today we're going to be taking a look at what is coming in the update on the 23rd of February 2017. Now as you can see here we've got a lot of cool stuff going on. Now the first thing that I'm going to be talking to you about is heavy armour. Now as you can see here the heavy armour is now going to be in game. Now this will slow your speed. So if we just take a little look here, you'll notice of just how slow I am walking. And if I run as well, it's still a lot slower than usual. Now, if you are wanting to craft this armor, it will be costing two sheet metal and five high quality metal for the helmet. Three sheet metal, eight high quality metal and three rope for the jacket. And two sheet metal, four high quality metal, and two rope for the plate pants. Now just note that you cannot wear anything with this armor other than a pair of boots. This armor also degrades pretty quickly when it is taking damage, so just be aware of that. So now we're going to be testing the damage values of this heavy armor. So I've got my man Jordan Rance here with me and we're going to be testing all of the damage values from the bow up to the bolt action rifle. All of this is going to be done at a range of five foundations. So we're going to be going first with a bow headshot. And that does literally zero damage. And then we'll be going next with a bow body shot. And that does 49 damage with a 10% bleed. And then next up, a headshot from the semi-auto pistol. And that has done 0 damage with 0 bleed. And then next for a body shot from the semi-auto pistol. And that has done 37 damage with a 7% bleed. And then next we'll be taking a headshot from the semi-auto rifle. And that, once again, has done zero damage. And then we'll be taking a body shot from the semi-auto rifle. And that has done 40 damage with an 8% bleed. And then next up, we'll be taking a headshot from the AK. And that, once again, has done no damage with no bleed. And then we'll be taking a body shot from the AK. And that has done 50 damage with a 10% bleed. And then next we'll be taking a headshot from the bolt action rifle. And that once again has done no damage. And then next we'll be taking a body shot from the bolt action rifle. And that has done 75 damage and 15 bleed. So that's all for testing the damage values then guys. I'd just like to say a big thank you for Jordan for coming to give me a hand. If you haven't already had a look at his channel and seen his content, make sure you go and have a look because he is a great YouTuber with some great content. Thank you very much Jordan and hopefully a lot. we'll see you again in yeah, another thanks. video. Another new thing that you will be noticing after this update will be the Caveman Sash. As you can see here, my player model now has a sash across its body. That is because I have picked up a weapon or any other kind of item such as a hatchet or anything that can be used to damage another player. This is so that now we can differentiate between who is a new spawn and who has managed to go out there and get themselves some items and possibly be able to kill you pretty quickly if they get close enough. So now you will be able to tell whether somebody is a potential threat or is actually a naked. And then next you will be noticing these new decor items. So you can see that we have a table, some chairs, a rug, and over here we have a bearskin rug. So now currently all you can do is place these and pick them back up. You cannot actually sit in the chairs as of yet. Even if you hold down E on them, you cannot. So now if you are wanting to craft these to make yourself a rug bearskin, you will need 150 cloth. To make yourself a normal rug, you will need 100 cloth. To make yourself a chair, you will need 150 wood and 100 metal fragments. And to make yourself a table, you will need 300 wood and 150 metal fragments. Now currently you can't actually place anything on top of the table, so I wouldn't go using one if you are wanting to put lanterns or other things on top of it. 
is currently very bare bones. Hopefully we may see some more improvements before the update hits. And if we do, make sure that you check the dev blog so that you can see exactly what has changed. And then moving away from that, we now have another huge quality of life update and that is guest codes are now added. So if we go over to a code lock and then we unlock with code, we can now hold down E and we can change the guest code. So now if a guest were to come along, they could put in the guest code, which means they would have access to the door, but they will not be able to unlock the door or remove the code lock. And then we also have a few more updates with the vending machine again this week. Now, as you can see on the front screen, it now tells you what you can buy for how much. In this instance, that is you can buy 1000 wood for one assault rifle. The health on vending machines has also been doubled, so it will now take two C4 to take one out rather than one. And then there's another great update. If we take a look on the map, you'll now see this little marker so that it's been marked there is a trading shop here. If we zoom out a little bit, you will be able to see there's another one over here, and you'll be able to see these all across the map. Now this will be turned on by default, but if you are playing on a server that's not wiping this week is a two week wipe or a month wipe, you will need to enable this yourself because it will not be enabled for anything placed prior to this update. All you need to do is run around to the back of your vending machine, hold down E and you will be able to enable broadcasts. You will also note while we are in the map that all the monuments now have names autonomous so you will be able to tell exactly where and what everything is and you'll also be able to see all of the mining outposts or warehouses and then we've also had some updates to the auto turret this week now you will be noticing that there is a laser sight on top of the turret right at this moment rocks are also no longer considered hostile towards a auto turret and if you have been killed by an auto turret and you run back, you will no longer be considered hostile. If you deal any damage at all though, you will be considered hostile. We've also had an update to the metal shop front. It now offers the same protection as sheet metal, which means it will take 2c4 to destroy it. And we now have an actual iron sight on the double barrel shotgun, which may mean that some people will be more inclined to use it as it is easier to aim. And then lastly, beds can now be made public and claimed by others. So if you hold down E on a bed, you can now see the option to set it to public. Now this will only work with beds, it will not work with sleeping bags, so if you hold down you can now set it to private, which would mean that I would take over this bed. So that is everything that I have for you guys this week. I hope you have enjoyed, and if you have, make sure you hit that like button. And if you would like to see more content, make sure that you are subscribed. Now, as always, there is still going to be some time before the update actually hits today. So make sure that you keep an eye on at Rust Updates over on Twitter. And make sure that you read the dev blog before you actually jump into game. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day.